It was an era when India was being ruled by the Mughals. The power in Deccan was shared by three sultanates, Bijapur, Ahmednagar, and Golconda. In these sultanates of the Deccan, most Marathas served as soldiers and noblemen. So did Shivaji's father, Shahaji Raje Bhonsle. Shahaji kept changing his loyalty between the three sultanates, but always kept his jagir at Pune and a small army with him independently. Due to the constant changes in the political developments, a few months before Shivaji's birth, Shahaji was forced to leave Jijabai protected in the Shivneri fort as he marched against the Mughals. During this troubled phase, before the birth of her second son, Jijabai prayed to goddess Shivai for the well-being of the child in the Shivneri fort. Hence, it is believed that the child born on 19th February 1630 was named Shivaji. Valiant and virtuous lady, Jijabai, through the recitation of Hindu epics and works of great saints, instilled in Shivaji the qualities of righteousness and bravery in his early childhood. Shivaji's education was entrusted to his guardian and tutor, Dadoji Kondyo, a loyal and commissioned officer of Shahaji. From age seven, he learnt the art of reading, writing, and administration. He was also taught horse riding and use of weapons. Lastly, at a young age, Shivaji acquired the skills of being a brave and just leader. How do you think the early experiences of his childhood would have helped Shivaji in his later life? Discuss and share.